Are you looking to take your business to the next level but don't know how? Or maybe you hit a plateau and you don't know what to do next. If this sounds like you, then you should consider hiring a business coach. A business coach is going to help an entrepreneur achieve their goals and reach their full potential. So in this video, we're talking about seven reasons why you should hire a business coach for your business. I'm Tanika D'Souza, the 100K Challenge Chick. I'm a life and business coach, and we're gonna talk about what are the reasons to use a business coach. If you're thinking to hire a business coach, this is going to be helpful for you to solidify the value that will come with working with a business coach. So let's jump right then, right in seven points. Here we go. So first is one of the more obvious things that you know a business coach will do. But that first thing is helping you define and achieve your goals as a business owner you likely have a really good idea of where you want your company to go, but most often it's difficult for you to know exactly how to get there or even what the specific goals should be. Your business coach can help you assess your current situation and develop tangible and achievable goals that will help push your business forward. Number two, keeping you accountable. Business coaching is not a one-time event, right? So you're not just gonna go to someone, talk a bunch of times and solve everything for your business. This is an ongoing relationship. And that relationship should really be there to hold you accountable to meeting the goals that you have set. This accountability can be especially helpful when times are tough or you're struggling to stay motivated knowing that someone is counting on you to get some things done or that you said you were going to do it a lot of times that is one of the main reasons why people continue to push forward is because they have that accountability to get through those tough times the thing that i will add in my personal experience is I have found that even when my clients are being really successful, that's also another pivotal point to hold them accountable because what they do is they get so excited about the success they're having that they stop doing the things that got them that success and they end up killing their momentum. So as a business coach, I'm going to hold you accountable during the tough times and through your success just to make sure that you are sticking to your goals and keeping the momentum going in your business. Number three, help you develop a strategic plan. So once you have goals in place, your business coach is there to help you develop a strategic plan for achieving them. This plan is going to take into account your current resources and your capabilities, as well as any potential obstacles that you're going to face along the way. So having a detailed plan will make it so much easier for you to execute your vision and to achieve your goals. I also factor in your lifestyle because I think it's really tough for you to have a strategic plan if you don't take into account the way that you want your life to run and the way your life is actually running, right? Especially as women entrepreneurs, our lives and our families can make business ownership not such a straightforward path. So as your coach, I'm here to help you pivot. I'm here to help you navigate your real life, not just put a plan in place and say you need to stick to this, but to also make sure it fits who you are and what your goals and your aims are as it relates to you as a total person. Number four, provide an objective perspective. So as a business owner, it's so easy to get caught up 
in the day-to-day -day grind of running your business, right? We all do it, which can make it really difficult for you to be able to step back and see the bigger picture. So as your business coach, they can provide an objective perspective on your situation and help you find new ways to solve your problems. This outside perspective can be invaluable I'm gonna say that again, it's invaluable in helping you make better decisions for your business. To be honest, this is where I feel most business owners are going to save time and save money the most, is having that outside perspective. Your coach is not going to be emotional about your business. They're not taking things personally. And so as they get to know you, your business, your goals, your plan, they are able to have that outside perspective and say, hey, you're kind of getting caught up. You're way too in the weeds. You're way too emotional about this and help you stay focused on the things that you said that matter the most. So I think that outside perspective is something that is not tangible. Like we can't put a line item to say outside perspective, it's worth X amount, but believe me, it's worth a ton. Number five, helping you stay focused. With so many demands on your time and your attention, it can be so easy to get sidetracked and lose focus on your goals. So a business coach is gonna help you stay focused on what's important and avoid getting bogged down in the details. So this is gonna help you free up your time and your energy to work on the things that really move your business forward. I call this focusing on income producing activities. If you are watching and you're a part of the 100K Society, which is my business coaching community, I did a workshop. It is in the resource vault. So you can go back and find the workshop titled income producing activities. But the point here is I found that a lot of people who are new in business constantly ask questions about what they should be doing. And I think it roots in the deeper question and issue is that no one ever taught them what they should always have on their plate so that they are producing income for their business versus what is the busy work that has to get done, but definitely should take up a smaller percentage of your time. So that workshop goes into detail. I'm not gonna go into detail here, but when you hire a business coach, that's one of the things they help you do is to stay focused on the things that are actually going to help you move your business forward versus what a lot of people do is spend all their time creating their products, their services, even creating all kinds of things on Canva or whatever app you're using, but then they don't spend any time on sales. Well, they create all this stuff and they have no one to sell it to. So that means you have created some imbalance in your focus and you're not concentrated on the right type of activities. Number six, let's keep it moving. Your business coach is gonna challenge you to grow. So of course me, the 100K challenge chick, I challenge everybody all the time. But any good business coach is going to challenge you to push yourself and your business to a new level of success, okay? They won't let you settle for mediocre or coasting in order, or even just coasting on your past successes, right? Instead, what they'll do is help you set your heights or your sights higher so that you can strive to reach your full potential. And number seven, <laughs> our last point is to support your personal growth. So in addition to helping you grow your business, a business coach can also support your personal growth as an entrepreneur. They can help you develop new skills and ways of thinking that make you more effective in both your personal and your professional life. So for me as a life and business coach, I also support you through your life obstacles. I think some of that is because I started my business just before the global pandemic that we all faced and there was no way to separate what was happening in people's life versus what they were dealing with in their business. So I had to, well, I had the background to do it because I have 
psychology degree. I spent time as a therapist. So I understood how to help someone do that, but it was really for the express purpose of getting back to business, being able to pivot, understanding that if you deal with some of these things and you get through them, you are now freeing up the capacity you need in order to focus on your business. So when you are looking for a business coach, making sure that they understand supporting your personal growth is really, really important because without it, you're not developing yourself as an entrepreneur. You're really just focused on talking about your business and business goals and nothing to really develop you, which to me, the more you develop the entrepreneur, the better they can execute in their business. So I hope that was helpful. I encourage you to watch this video again and take some notes on these seven things and how they can actually be helpful to you. So as you listen to it again, I want you to write like, Okay, staying focused. What are some of the things that I know right now are distracting me? Because maybe before you get that coach, some of these points can help you to start sorting some things out for yourself. I would love for you to drop in the comments where you have been stuck in the past out of these seven things. What has been the hardest one for you to really tackle so that when you do look for a business coach, you will know, yes, I really need to make sure someone is helping me stay focused or focus on income producing activities or help me develop as an entrepreneur, not just my business, but also me personally. So subscribe to my channel and get a business coach. That's what I'm telling you to do. Get a business coach, get a business coach, right? If you don't already have one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.